Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MagicReview.com. I, Jeff Stone, do solemnly swear that I do not do Matrix effects in my repertoire. I do not like them, I do not find them very magical, and I just don't get them. They're just not my cup of tea or my can of diet caffeine free coke. Whatever. I don't do matrix effects. But, bam, duo, a matrix effect, getting five stars from this guy. That's right, five stars, stone status of capital G, capital E, capital M. Totally incredible product. Five stars. First of all, you're supplied with two gimmicks. That are already done and made for you. You can use them right out of the box. Second of all, you get a DVD that teaches you how to make the gimmicks if you want to customize them to use with the regular, a different deck of playing cards than than uh, minor uh, red back bicycles. So if you want to use a custom deck or something, you can you can make your own gimmicks, and it takes like five minutes to make the gimmicks. Third, the DVD, although it's only 22 minutes, it covers everything in depth. Not only when it shows you, how, does it show you how to uh, create these uh, pro gimmicks, but most of the time when you get one of these arts and crafts kind of projects where you got to cut a card or glue a card or do all this stuff, it's hard to see where exactly they're gluing because the glue is usually clear, and it's hard to see exactly what they're doing. Well, what they did on this video, Ryan Lehman did, he, so let's say you had to cut this card or glue it or something, he would freeze frame it. And then show you, uh, like graphically drew a, a black line or something right where you needed to cut or glue or whatever. And they took the time. To me, it was just those couple extra minutes, but it really made the difference for how to learn how to do exactly what's needed. These gimmicks are super easy to make. I haven't constructed one, but I saw how they're made on the video, and they're super simple. But you'll never need to make one if you're happy with using the red back or the blue back or whatever yours comes with unless you wear it out or something, which is possible because if you're a Matrix kind of guy, you'll probably add this to your repertoire. So you get two gimmicks. The first one allows you to do the following, which I will not fully do. I'll just sort of walk through. But you spread the cards, have literally any card touch. It's not a force. They, you jog it forward. Sorry, it's jogged forward. You would not be able to show the underside like I just did, but I just wanted you to see I've jogged it forward. Then you would remove this card, place it on the table, do the same thing again, have another card, again, free selection, jog forward, and then you put it on the table. Then you would lift up each of those cards and there'd be a coin underneath those cards that would have appeared there. The cards and the coins are totally clean and examinable and there's nothing funny there. Um, and even the deck, it, you could show it very clearly like this. There'd be nothing to see. Um, and so it, you can, and the gimmick is in the deck, you can just remove it very easily, or not. You could leave it in there and continue doing card tricks with it. So it's very, very clean. But this is the type of thing that if you're, if you're doing this, you're probably about to go into a coin routine, and so the deck just kind of goes aside anyway. But the gimmick is easily ring, rung, ringed, ringed or rung in and out of the deck, no problem. Second gimmick, uh, this is my second shot of doing this video. Well, that's today, man. I've been doing multiple takes of everything. I don't know what the deal is. The problem is I actually want to show you how this gimmick looks in action, but because of the way I'm holding this to the camera and your perspective on it, I actually exposed the gimmick last time, and I don't want to do that, um, especially with a product where the, it's, it's, um, you know, it's a good, honest product. So I'm going to try it again without exposing the gimmick. But this is my little makeshift table, and then uh, this is uh, the, the gimmick that's supplied. And you just put the, car, the card on top of the coin. Now look, to make that coin vanish, nothing funny. I just literally lift this up. And look at this. I can actually quickly give a flash of the card. And then if I want to reproduce it, I can just magically... Whoosh, come on, get There we go. Sorry, really awkward angles. Hopefully that time I didn't expose the gimmick. Oh, and the other thing too is a quick flash of both sides again. Uh, but that that's what you can do with that second gimmick. Now, the way you would do that is you would, uh, maybe you're doing a two coin matrix bit where you've got, I'm just gonna use regular cards now. You gotta, uh, let's say the core card is, coin is there, and then you got a card here. You would make it vanish from here and then reappear over here. The one downside to some of the methods I didn't care for is once the coins vanished, which let's just say it vanished, and this is not really the gimmick, but let's say it were, 
Um, you would then, in order to make it reappear under here, you'd have to bring this card over to here, and then it would appear underneath there. I didn't like that one piece of the method, but you don't have to do that for all of the different handlings. It's just some of the handlings did require that. And that was one little bitty thing I didn't care for, because if you really did make the coin appear underneath the other card, why would you have to bring that card over to it? So I didn't like that, but that's a very minor point considering what that gimmick's capable of and how the fact that there's no tape on it, no um, magnets or anything like that, and the car, the coin easily comes in and out of play with very little effort, so it's very simple to use. And again, I, like I said, I, I'll probably never use this gimmick ever, just because I don't do those kinds of routines. Now I do do coin routines occasionally, very few, um, and so I might use the, the other gimmick that allows you to magically make a, co a coin appear under a card, I might use that to produce the two coins and then do a coin routine with them and then go back to my cards or back to some other object. So there is some potential there that I might use it. If you're not a Matrix person, you probably won't get much use out of this set other than the example I just gave. And if you're not a Matrix person, why are you watching this DVD? It's a Matrix trick I'm reviewing. But if you like Matrix or you can see an application for having a very clean and clear vanish uh, of a coin and a reappearance of a coin that you can slip this right into your matrix work very easily and make things very clean. Um, the only thing is this this one card is not examinable, but that's it. Here's the thing too. Because they teach you how to make these gimmicks, why not make two of them? Then you could do some really cool stuff, right? It'd be very easy to make uh, one card, one coin appear and disappear and appear underneath the other one without having to slip the card underneath the other ones. So, a lot of potential there. Anyway, that's about it. That's all I can say. I mean, the ad copy is 100% accurate. For $20, they give you a very well shot DVD that teaches you everything you need to know, including how to make more gimmicks. And uh, plus, it includes the two gimmicks for 20 bucks. Cannot go wrong with that. So, bam, five star stone status of capital G, capital E, capital M. And you just saw my face turn blue. And so, here, that means I've opened up my iTunes. And here we go. Random song of the moment. Linkin Park, What I've Done, great song. This is my uh, third or fourth video shoot of the day. So I'm a little worn out and thirsty, so you listen, I'll drink. Linkin Park, I, I wouldn't say I'm like a huge fan of theirs. I don't hate them or anything. I've got some of their music, obviously. But I, I don't know, some of their stuff I just don't get. Others I love, and this is... This is one. This is probably one of the more popular ones, too. Um, maybe they're just not heavy enough for me. I don't know. I'm kind of a headbanger. Anyway, that's it for me on this review. i got two more to shoot, and I'll even tell you what they are. Uh, Rick Smith Jr., Velocity. This is Card Throwing DVD. And Liar, the ultimate comedy lie detector routine by Robert Bax. I've already watched them. I've already um, I, haven't, I haven't written the written review yet. I'll be doing that and then filming this video for it. I scheduled them out you know, so that they release uh, over the next few days. So it'll be a few days before you get to see these. But that's what's next. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Peace and out. <laughs>